you guys are well on time but we'll wait for a few more folks to join before we begin but thank you so much for taking our time we'll begin shortly Let's do an activity, guys, until we wait for other folks to join. Why not you guys share where are you joining us from, whether it's East Coast, West Coast, tell more about your brand as well. And during the webinar, hopefully, if we get a chance during either during Q&A or during our session, we can cover a little bit more about your brand as well, since the topic is about identifying those signs and figure out if AI assistants are the right fit for you or not, we could well take your brand as an example. So feel free to use the chat section, put the place where are you from, and also put the brand which you are representing today. Oh, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Uh, hello from Hawaii. That's great. Hope all is well in Hawaii. Uh, hey, John. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Lauren says our brand is TNC Surf Shop, coming from a locally owned surf shop in Hawaii, small team, but always looking to grow. That's the spirit, Lauren. You know, like it's always to keep that spirit high in terms of growing, and small and lean team is the best team. You know, like the way you can move so quickly and the agility that you can show with a small team is never ever comparable to big corporate so appreciate that and thank you so much for sharing anyone who's into surfing uh, please do look out to lauren's shop tnc surf shop yeah we see a good quorum already over here but we'll just give it some moments. It's about time. It's 4 p.m. already. We'll begin shortly. Just, just give us a couple of minutes to begin. Amazing, guys. So yeah, it's time. Welcome to our webinar. I am your host for today. My name is Sunakshi. I'm co-founder and CEO of Manifest AI. And the topic of discussion today is we are going to keep it very casual. I'm your friend. And, you know, the major agenda that we wanted to cover and why we wanted to cover, I'm as well going to cover that. But yeah, it's about identifying signs, you know, like it's we live in the AI era today. Uh, it's all about AI assistants, but I'm pretty sure most of us here do not even know what AI assistants are. So don't worry about that. We'll cover that as well. But today it's about identifying those signs, whether it's a right fit for you or not in terms of adopting AI assistants. And it's about time, you know, every brand have to essentially adopt AI assistant sometime or the other during their journey of running an e-commerce brand. But it typically, since it's just beginning of the era, it typically depends on few very, very critical signs that you can quickly pick up and see whether AI assistant adding to your stack will add towards your revenue, AOV or conversion. So let's begin guys. And the agenda, we'll keep it very straightforward, a casual chat where I'll quickly cover things around AI Assistant, what it means, 
how the impact is, what are the signs that you can identify on your own e-commerce tech stack. And then last 10 minutes, we'll keep it for short Q&A. So save your questions, put it on chat box if possible. And whenever those last 10 minutes begin, I'll start picking those questions one by one. And your questions could be very well, simple, stupid, basic. Don't worry or don't think anyone's judging you. Uh, just feel free to speak out your mind because AI as a topic is very, very new and everyone has their silly doubts. And I'll also cover why, where and why we chose this topic during our session. But yeah, feel free to consider us as your friend and keep putting questions, whatever that comes to your mind. So yeah, thank you. Uh, let's begin. So yeah, a little bit about me. So I'm Sunakshi, I'm CEO and co-founder of Manifest. Uh, before starting this company, uh, I used to work at Microsoft as a software developer. And then to scale our business, we raised uh, funding from Y Combinator. It's an accelerated program based out of Silicon Valley, and then Sequoia Capital to scale it up. And here we are today, you know, speaking with all of you, talking about AI assistance and how you guys can adopt it. I personally love running. A little bit about me is I really, really love running, and Central Park is the best place for me. I really love going to Central Park and do a, doing my 5k on a daily basis. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. And I'm happy to hear about your brand, happy to hear about where you guys are coming from, joining us from. Just feel free to put on chat. So yeah, you know, as I said, what exactly is AI Assistant? And this is the most fundamental question I hear whenever I speak with anyone in the e-commerce industry. You know, like the basic fundamental uh, response that I get from people is, you know, I have used AI for probably content creation. At max, I have used chat GPT or certain search engines like Perplexity or there are certain other engines that have come now, Gemini, etc. But beyond that, I have literally not used AI for anything else. So how, how, how does it belong to e-commerce? Why does it belong to e-commerce? And how it can impact my business is something I don't know. And these are the basic uh, answers I get. You know, Does it assist in selling? Or does it assist in handling support? Or does it help in recommending products? Or at the very least, I also say, like, if it's all of the above. So, you know, like, feel free. Like, I would also like to hear from you guys. What do you think AI Assistant is for? Do you think, is it for support? Then put C on the chat. If you feel it assist in selling, put A. If you feel it's recommending products, <laughs> Lauren says D, all of the above. That's great, Lauren. You're absolutely right. Yeah, so guys, John also says D. Absolutely, guys, these are like few things Zach also says. So super amazing crowd, guys. You guys already know what AI Assistant is. That's pretty, pretty good to hear about. So yes, absolutely, it does all of the above. And from selling to recommendation, answering question, answering silly doubts, making your customer feel extremely comfortable, are the super traits of what AI Assistant does. So it is beyond handling support. So yeah, that's what AI Assistant is, but we are gonna deep dive throughout the session. Uh, yeah, so how does it look and what is the impact? Even if it looks great uh, or if it looks you know, very clumsy, it looks like a bot, how does it look? That is what we are going to cover on this uh, section. So I'll just start this video from starting. So, you know, I have just exaggerated how AI avatar looks, but when someone comes on your product page, it will throw up some questions, which is, you know, again, generated basis, the doubts that people usually have on your product page. So for example, for example, here you saw this item, which is a moisturizing cream. Here the question that AI generated was, what are the key ingredients in the eye cream? How long does it take to see result? Is this eye cream suitable for all skin types? Where did AI come up with these questions? How did it know that these are the kind of questions or doubts usually that comes into uh, audience mind when they are on top of your product page? So this is exactly what AI Assistant does. It keeps getting trained on the customers, audiences, the data that is flowing through your storefront. And then it also understands that, 
okay, you know, initially when the AI was deployed, these were the question I asked and which led to a purchase. It keeps getting trained real time and, you know, it's super intelligent. It starts to throw up those icebreakers to your consumer or audience, which leads to a purchase. So that's, that is exactly how AI works. Of course, we can go in depth, but that was the fundamental way of how it works. And when a consumer picks up a question, it will give out an answer. Beyond this, you know, uh, when someone is searching for anything on your store, over there also AI becomes extremely smart. It understood the keyword was face serum. So it knew that, okay, now it knows, like audience is interested in face serum. So it generates a trivia. Did you know face serums penetrate deeply to nourish and re revitalize the skin, promoting a healthy radiant complexion? Again, you can program AI in any way, shape, and form. It has nothing to do with, okay, this is exactly what AI will throw up, just like the old days where we used to input manually on what should come up. You can program it to show recommendations. If someone searches for face serum, you can literally use AI to show direct product recommendation. Or just like this example, you can program it to show a trivia. Or you can also program it to show discounts. So depending upon how you program it, it's super easy. It's, it's as easy as, you know, our mom and dad running their smartphone for the first time. So nothing fancy, very, very easy. But yeah, you can program AI the way you want. So yeah, going forward, uh, this is another thing that the assistant can do. Uh, then probably, you know, let's say your consumer, your audience uh, decided to add product to the cart and while checking out, they decided, okay, let me remove, like my cart value has gone way above my budget. Let me remove something from cart. Then AI again comes into picture. It, you know, talks about the benefit of that product, request the consumer to add back uh, to cart. So that is again, highly programmable. You can put multiple things. You can offer a real time generated discount using AI. You can show up a trivia. You can also summarize. You can use AI to show summarize summary of the reviews. Let's say your product was rated 4.9 star. You can talk about that, that you know, 5,000 plus people have rated this product 4.9 star. You should definitely buy this. So there are multiple ways you can program AI from journey of your customer, beginning the journey of entering to your website, uh, browsing products, uh, understanding what's there in your website, uh, what are the collections, what are the best sellers, uh, what are the discounts ongoing, and then from there, if they add anything to cart, AI keeps following them, very gently nudges them to push for a purchase. So that's exactly how AI works. Again, you know, this is just 1% of the AI assistant that I'm talking about. It's even more powerful, but we can cover that later. So yeah, this is how it works. Now we'll talk about, okay, this is all good. It looks great, but what is the impact? You know, is it really working for people or not, et cetera? So these are like few numbers. I have taken it up from a live dashboard from our customer. They're called Michel Brands. I've shown their example again after we cover those three signs of adopting AI. But before that, I'll talk about some impact without AI assistant, the conversion rate for that particular website was extremely low. It was below a percent, 1%, percent, 0.87%. Their average order values were $61. With AI assistant, conversion rates uh, shot up to 1.96%. Average order value was $73. And you know, usually you would wonder, AI would require a lot of training. AI would require a lot of data feeding. You literally have to worry about nothing. AI understands, like if you are a Shopify brand, on one click, AI ass assistant understand and sync up all the data. Second thing on training, yes, there will be certain additional effort, but you don't have to worry. Our team manifest AI makes sure that your AI assistant gets trained and there is a report that gets shared on, you know, accuracy of AI when deployed on your uh, storefront. So you don't have to worry about it. Now coming to the topic. Uh, oh, I see a lot of questions already, but we'll cover them. Just feel free to keep putting them. Guys, great job on putting them on chat section. Please keep doing that. We'll cover them 
in the last 10 minutes, but here are three signs, obvious signs. You don't have to go into depth of your Google Analytics dashboard and do certain math calculation, nothing to worry about. These are like few fundamental signs that you can understand that, okay, it's time to upgrade with the AI assistant. So yeah, here goes the sign number one, which is your website performance. So we'll take two matrices. One is website duration, another one is bounce rate. And these numbers vary on you know, different tools, different platform. So just stick to the platform you are using currently and use those number as base, basic standard. So first is visit duration. If your visit duration is less than three minutes, whether you are selling a luxury product, whether you are in a concern category, which is you know beauty products, personal care products, or electronics as well, or you are in a fast selling, you know, CPG kind of category, even then no one makes a purchase if the visit duration is less than three minutes. Any person fundamentally for any human to make a purchase decision, they need to spend that much amount of time on your website. So on an average, if your visit duration is less than three minutes, it's high time to deploy that um, AI assistant. And why I'm saying that is because, uh, I went to Sephora uh, last week and I was there to purchase, you know, a couple of moisturizer for myself. My upper budget was $150, but then there was a sales assistant who came and kudos to that brand. It's called Kate Samovilla. And, you know, the sales assistant had come in and she pitched me so, so well that I ended up doing a $600 worth of purchase from that store for that particular brand. So that's where I understood the power of deploying a sales assistant. If you're doing that on your offline retail, you should replicate that behavior on your online retail. It's extremely important. It's worthless to spend money on ads and not deploying an assistant who could help increase your average order value, who could help increase your conversion. So it's extremely important. And it is actually, it comes in pennies when compared to your ad spend. So definitely, you know, visit duration is one thing that we really recommend. That's an early sign. Second is bounce rate. You know, if your bounce rate is beyond 40%, you know, honestly speaking, most of the Shopify sites are well optimized on speed, on load, etc. So ideally, if your ads are running good, you are having a good organic traffic, then your bounce rate should be less than 40%. There is no way that 50 or 60% kind of bounce rate are acceptable. Unfortunately, most of the brands that we see today have exceptionally high bounce rates. So that's the another very good metric for you to even start considering that AI assistant is a good fit or not. So yeah, moving on. Uh, and it's easy. The tool that I've used here is similar web. So you can go check your own bounce rate and visit duration and get to a conclusion. Second thing is monitor product pages. So you can either use Clarity or Hotjar uh, to monitor your product pages. And over there, you know, one very common thing that we have seen is if most of your customers from ad or even your organic activities uh, come to your web page, usually it's a product page because you run catalog ads and they do some action like selecting size in case of apparel or if it's beauty, then, you know, selecting uh, shades, etc. Anything, you know, or, you know, reading reviews and reading description, but then, you know, instead of making a purchase, instead of clicking on that add to cart, they literally switch to another page. That is not a good sign. That is actually a worse sign, you know, like because you took so much money, you took so much effort to get that person on your product page and they were interested. That's why they were reading everything and they're still interested in your brand. That's why they went to another product page or home page, but they didn't press on purchase. That means there was a concern on the details shared on your product page or something, it could be anything, right? It could be, for example, it could be an ingredient they are allergic about. So they were just looking out for that ingredient if that's present or not. Or it could be around a size or it could be around a style which they saw on a celebrity and they just want to make sure that it's the same style or not. So question could be infinite. That's where you use AI Assistant. AI Assistants are intelligent enough to understand the browsing history of the consumer and accordingly display the question. 
so that's another sign you can go like if you need help understanding clarity hotchar you can just ping me i can come on a call do that for you uh, go through if your product pages are going through similar uh, issues or not but yeah that's another sign third which i feel uh, is very very easy to figure out uh, if your live chat if you have your live chat enabled uh it's only relevant for those people but if your live chat has questions beyond order status if you are seeing questions around you know size variants product recommendation or anything that is beyond order status what it means is people need help and that's just the 10% of the help that you are seeing on your box because most of the people introverts such as me would never even bother to type a question if they know that the answer i'm going to get is 6 hours away or 7 hours away or even like 30 minutes away or even 15 minutes away they won't bother to do that they'll just switch to another website so if you're clearly seeing those patterns on your live chat that questions are beyond just order status go for it you know like don't even think twice on whether ai assistants are going to help you or not because number one they reply instantly number two they understand all languages of the world reply in all languages of the world number three uh, you can train it you can make them an expert for an agent to becoming an expert on product recommendation is extremely difficult you can train an agent to become an expert on order status shipping refund and other policies that you have but product recommendation requires a lot of intelligence and uh, that is where ai assistant can help you so yeah these were the three signs uh, that i really wanted to cover but quickly showing you ai assistant comes in all shapes and form you don't have to worry about whether it looks like a support bot a support avatar or it becomes part of my product page like a button or it's like a search bar you can take you can you know mold ai in any form you want so here are few examples that have picked up from our manifest ai dashboard like ask ai about this any colors possible don't worry about those shiny colors that you see and then you can also embed a complete ai generated trivia widget on your product page you can put an ai summarized review people can literally chat for your reviews so for example people people can ask um hey you know can you uh, show top reviews which were around dry skin for this product or can you show the latest reviews which were given in last two weeks for this product because people do worry that maybe these ratings are skewed you know it was great because the earlier reviews were great but latest reviews aren't so they usually tend to you know spend a lot of time scrapping around uh, if the latest reviews are great or not but now you can enable them to just ask question and get an answer similarly you know there are other things so ai assistant for right size ai shopping page a full page where people can come chat ask question you can run ads on it etc usage instruction guide and so on and so forth so there are multiple things that you can do and yeah i think uh, this was it there is another thing before q and a which is happy to give a free pilot month for everyone who has joined here and uh, we'll be personally as a team uh, will come support you train your ai assistant make it live ensure that you see higher conversion ensure that you see higher aovs and you go happy after the pilot complete so uh, whoever wants it just you know ping your email over here or drop me an email right after the session i'll just drop my email here yeah so here is my email if you guys want a pilot just feel free to shoot an email to me after this chat so yeah now i'll stop sharing my screen and we'll talk about the question that you guys have so yeah uh, yeah here is the chat page okay so Lauren. Uh, so it's just like a sales associate that walks along with them in the store just online yeah exactly you know it's more than a sales associate i would say because it takes care of everything from making them feel comfortable through you know uh, gently nudging them to making a purchase and again then giving them an extra luxury experience while checking out 
So yeah, like a sales associate, but beyond that, available 24-7 and in all languages. Uh, Jatin says, do you have any case studies? Yeah, absolutely. Let me share the link of all the case studies that I have. So we have more than 250 uh, Shopify brands working with us currently. So there are a bunch of case studies that we have built. You guys can go through it. I'm sharing a link over here. Just, you know, uh, take this home and, uh, you know, feel free to go through it. Uh, the other question is, are there reports provided about some of the AI generated prompts on product pages? It could be good information to know FAQs for those products to help. Of course, Lauren, it's a great question, I would say, because uh, uh, every product page has its own analytics. Every question generated has its own analytics. And also at the same time, uh, the questions generated and then the responses generated after those questions also has the intent identified. So for example, your consumers out of which that's the 100% pool out of which let's say 30% of the people are asking about product search. 20% of the people are asking about store information. 2% of the people are asking about order status. All those intent identification and the percentage of people asking about it, you will get it on that report. You'll also get a report on CSAT, customer satisfaction, whether the answer which AI gave was satisfactory or not for your consumer, you get that as well. I hope I answered your question. Uh, the AI shopping page, is that like a landing page that we create? Yeah. So it's a landing page, a uh, conversational landing page where uh, people can come ask questions. You can customize that landing page separately for any ad campaign that you run. You just need to change the URL. Uh, AI understands the intent, picks up intent from the URL and starts a conversation. It recommends product. It also enables people to add products to cart. It also enables people to check out product directly from that AI shopping page. They need not go back to your checkout page or that basic uh, static website. So yeah, uh, Michael says, sorry, I missed the price. Uh, so yeah, from a pricing standpoint, Michael, we, uh, you know, consider this number of sessions that you have on website. So for example, if you have around 100k sessions on website, your pricing would come around uh, $5,000 annual. Uh, but if let's say it grows up like a million uh, sessions on website on a monthly basis, then we also have bulk deals that you can avail. But that's how our math works, because uh, based on number of session are the uh, number of AI credits that gets consumed. So yeah, uh, I think I have covered most of the question over here. Guys, any other question that you would like me to cover? We still have five more minutes that I can spend here. But yeah, happy to chat even after this session, guys. Uh, just feel free to drop me an email if you want to avail and pilot. We can come on a call. We can show you certain case studies because that was the question I uh, just saw here and get started. So yeah, uh, any other question guys that I can uh, answer for you? Great, so I don't see any other question coming up on my way. Thank you so much guys for joining in today. It was a great and lovely session and see you guys on the other side and hoping to work, work with you all. Bye-bye, take care.